Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'll be updating you on the cheapest GPUs in the Philippines. I will use my website here at www.manong.dev. As a disclaimer, the data is from PH Online Sellers for now. Prices and availability may vary as this is a snapshot and not live data. Some inference could be wrong as well, so I will take no liability on that. Let's start with the RTX 5090. The cheapest ones are from MSI Ventus 3X and this is below 140,000 pesos which is considered quote-unquote cheap and below MSRP. You can find these at PC Hub, Bearmore, and Data Blitz. If you can go to Gilmore, then it will be cheaper by around 2,000 pesos against Bearmore and 4,000 pesos against Data Blitz, which is worth it in my opinion. Moving on with the RTX 5080, the cheapest one is the MSI Shadow 3X. This is below 70,000 pesos. You can find the cheapest version at Bearmore for 68,000 pesos, and this is the non OC variant. However, it is unavailable for now, and the one available is the OC variant for 69,000 pesos. Next is from Data Blitz and PC Hub at 69,500 pesos. If you live in Metro Manila and you want one now, I would highly suggest buying from Data Blitz as they have same day delivery for 49 pesos. They also accept credit card, so if you want to earn miles, then you'd earn a few here. The 4 pesos that you can save from PC Hub might not be worth it. For the RTX 5070 Ti, the cheapest ones are from MSI Shadow 3X again at 52,000 pesos from PC Hub. Not far behind is the same MSI Shadow 3X at 53,000 pesos from Burmore. But on the same price point, there's Colorful NB and White Variant which you can buy at Netcodex and then the Manly Polar which you can buy at Data Blitz. Next is the RTX 5070. The cheapest one is the Zotac Twin Edge version priced at 35,300 pesos which you can get at PC Hub. And then the same variant is also available at Netcodex and Burmore for 36,500 pesos. For the RTX 5060 Ti 16GB, the cheapest one is the Zotac Twin Edge which you can buy at PC Hub for 26,100 pesos. And pretty much PC Hub has dominated the top 8 cheapest 5060 Ti 16GB as you can see in this page. It might be worth it to visit them to Gilmore if you really like this card. For the 5060 Ti 8GB, while this isn't really recommended, the cheapest one is still the Zotac Twin Edge which you can still buy at PC Hub for 23,700 pesos. For the RTX 5060 the cheapest one is the Zotac Solo from PC Hub for 18,200 pesos. Not far behind is from Data Blitz and Netcodex for 18,300 pesos. If you want a dual fan variant, then there's from Zotac again for 18,750 pesos at PC Hub and Palit for 19,000 pesos. For the RTX 5050, the cheapest ones are from Palit and Zotac and available from different retailers such as Netcodex, Data Blitz, and PC up for 15,600 pesos, which is kind of expensive if you look at it. Moving on to the Radeon side of things, for RX 9070 XT, the cheapest variant is the Power Color Hellhound from Netcodex and Bermore at 44,900 pesos, followed by XFX, Quicksilver, and two ASRAP variants, which you can buy at Netcodex as well. From this table, you can see that Netcodex has dominated the top six cheapest variants, though the pricing is below 46,000 pesos for the top 10, which is a good sign. For the RX 9070, the cheapest variant is the XFX Swift from Netcodex and Bermore again, available for 39,000 pesos. Again, the top 6 is dominated by Netcodex, having a few variants below 40,000 pesos. For the RX 9060 XT 16GB, the cheapest are the ASRAC Challenger, Sapphire Pulse, and XFX Swift for 24,000 pesos. First two is from PC Hub and then followed by Bermore. For RX 9060 XT 8GB, the cheapest one is the Sapphire Pulse at Netcodex for 20,300 pesos. Not far behind is the ASRAC Challenger for 20,450 pesos from PC Hub and Data Blitz. As for Intel's RX B580, the cheapest one is the ASRAC Challenger from PC Hub for 17,000 pesos. I think I covered the current gen for now. As for the website, you can navigate to the summary page, show 100 entries, and order the price by descending or ascending order. Looking at this, there are no new cards below 15,000 pesos, which is kind of sad. Again, ARC B580 is priced strongly at 17,000 pesos range. Next is the RX 9060 XT 16GB, which is strong at 24,000 pesos range. The price difference between 8GB and 16GB is no-brainer at this point. For 30,000 to 35,000 range, the RTX 4070 Super still holds its value as it has the same performance as the RTX 5070 which is what the heck right? Anyway, you'd roughly get the same performance per peso with 7800 XT, 4070 Super, and 5070. For now, I don't recommend buying 9070 non-XT and RTX 5070.
970 Ti as both pale in performance per peso against the RX 9070 XT. If you really want Nvidia, then the 4070 Ti Super and 5070 Ti isn't far with each other in terms of performance and so the 4070 Ti Super still holds its value well. The RTX 4080 is really not recommended at this price point so just get the 5080 if you really want the best sub 100,000 pesos performance. And of course in gaming, the RTX 5090 is the king in terms of performance and there's no competition in that. Anyway, you can browse the website at any time although I can't promise that the data will be regularly updated. I can if I will but if I can't, I will not even apologize for that. You can also browse the back end which is just a GitHub page anyway at github.com slash manongs unboxing. So if you really want the raw JSON file, you can clone it there. Feel free to clone but I can't promise anything as well. Anyway, that's it for now. Bye!